We are Anthony and me, and this is Cheek Walk. And since September 2019, we have lived full time in our motorhome so that we can travel Europe. So, just a quick update we're back on the road again. We've just left our site in Castro Perez. Um, we were planning on staying to get the aircon fixed, but I'm parked over at the reception today and spoke to the man and says, Can you ring the garage and say if the park's there? And it turns out that he says we need to order it and it will take three days. So we got under the impression that the garage had already ordered it and it was on its way, but it turns out that he hasn't and he was waiting for us to go ahead with it. So we just thought we'll just set off now on our way to France instead of staying for another five days because it's now coming into the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday won't be a working day. So I'm just unwinding before I go to sleep and I asked Amy for tomorrow if there's any campsites near us. Do you want to see the results on camper contact on a mobile phone? Watch this. <laughs> Not very many sites. <laughs> God, there's loads. Now compared to Spain, that's a lot. So yeah, we'll probably be on a campsite now for a few days. See you in a bit. Good morning from France. We have woke up and it turns out the car park that we stayed in has a market day today. Degrees in the pool, but it's like freezing. So. Minus 27. <laughs> Lovely this site. Although it's like 30 euros a night, it's really nice. Got like a little snack bar here. I think there's only me and Amy on the site, to be honest. <laughs> it's just us, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming! It's coming. <laughs> uh... <Yay! laughs> Blue. 
counting down from 50 seconds probably. <laughs> well, it's on the poo. We're not getting out because we're freezing if we get out. <laughs> <laughs> what have I just noticed in the battery compartment? Baby cockroaches. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know if they're coming from the outside though on the ramps. Yeah, so I've just picked the there was a yellow ramp here just to level the back right. And I just picked it up and put it in. And I'm not sure if they've been under the ramp and they've dropped into here. I hope that's the case and that I've brought them in. I hope that we haven't got them inside the van. Because that would be horrible. <laughs> My job, killing them. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen any cockroaches like the whole time I've been on this trip. And now we're in France. And it's hot then cold and stuff. And then obviously that's the first time we've seen them. But hopefully they were just in the grass, which find it hard to believe to be honest I just hope they're not fested inside but get the electric in and then we're setting off again another five hour journey see you in a bit just let Amy drive us round to the grey waste and empty our cassette and stuff like that she loves the driving she passed the theory test but we left too soon for her to pass our driving test it moved in the more warm quicker than we thought and she didn't get a chance to pass a driver but when we head back that's what she'll be doing Yay. hopefully <laughs> hopefully she gets the chance to do it but you love driving don't you yeah i wish i could drive here but I'll, 25. i would let you but yeah you have to be over 25 he was 24 and you have to be so you have to be insured and for driving license and stuff. Yeah. Left. We're just driving around the site what we're leaving now. Windows need cleaning. It's a better when you're driving. I wish I could just let you drive the whole way, all the time. <laughs> just go a bit wide compared to your car. Nice, this site, really nice. Loved it on here. The facilities are the best facilities we've seen on our whole travel. So we've just pulled in a lay-by at the services and we're gonna have a quick break. We're making our way to the top of France today. Um, we're shooting through France pretty quick and if you're wondering why, it's because we're gonna head home to do a van conversion. Now, before buying a motorhome, we were torn between a van conversion and a motorhome where everything's done for you. Now, if we'd have chose to do a van conversion in the beginning, we wouldn't have realized what was the most important things, which we've learned a lot along the way of what is more important than other things. I mean, in here we've got too much space, it's chunky, it's big. There's loads of reasons why we're doing a van conversion. Um, but because of lockdown and stuff like that, obviously we got stuck in Spain, everything was postponed for so long. Was wanted, because of the virus, was wanted to just head home and during the lockdown, us could have been working on a van. Yeah. But it turns out like B&Q and stuff like that would have been closed, deliveries would have taken longer. So now everything's slowly getting back to normal. We're thinking, right, well, we'll head home. We'll do a van as soon as we can. Um, that's the only reason for going home apart from seeing family and friends and stuff um, we'll try our best to get one done as quick as we can and then we'll be straight back on the road with this then waiting to be sold and stuff so as soon as we can, we can move into the conversion then this will be up for sale isn't it? so excited <laughs>
at least over an hour. As we're just seeing, we've never seen a toll booth for ages, but it's one way you've got the ticket, and we're just pulling into it now. Let's see what the damage is. <laughs> Self to the vets in here. Been waiting a long time. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No. That's the tunnel booked. So we're just sitting outside the vets waiting for an appointment at half past three. It is now quarter past three and we've just booked our tunnel because obviously now we know that we've got the five day window for Chico's tapeworm tablet. It's crazy. It feels weird going back and it feels like we've cut everything short, but it's all for a good reason. We're not bothered, but the only way we can think about doing a van conversion is by renting a house, but it's only because of having to drive somewhere to eat, sleep, stuff like that while we're working on the van. Us, us we've been looking at lockups, garages, workshops for rent, so we can live in the motorhome still and save money, but obviously there's no way that's going to work out that way. Um, we've got our goal in our mind. GoPro died all of a sudden now. Um, so we'd rent a house, have the, have the drive, and have space to work on cutting wood and fitting stuff, and obviously our own, just relying on ourselves instead of a third party, like living on a campsite, but then driving to a lockup and relying on the other third party who owns the lockup where you're renting it from. There's too many moving parts. Um, as soon as we're back and doing it though, the sound of wouldn't Oh yeah, definitely. Away. I'd give us three months, four months, and we can just pay the fee to exit a tenancy earlier. If that all works out. Sort that out when we get to it. But uh, we're going to have the van on the drive, the motor home, when we get back, move into the house, um, and then have sell the... Uh, yeah, sell the motor home. Sell the motor home, which might take longer but we can put it in storage till it sells or we can have it on a dealer's forecourt while they sell it for us and then we can, in the meantime we can be working on the van the whole time backwards and forwards to B&Q and we're so excited mm -hmm. it's all this time in the motorhome has learnt us a lot for what we're going to do in a van conversion Are you waiting to get your tapeworm tablet Chico? Not be long now that? Wooden building. Wooden get parked outside of there. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. You wouldn't get parked outside of there. <laughs> Oh, no. 
hours, stuff like that. And then we'll be able to just set off in the morning, get the tunnel, and then we'll be back in the UK. We've seen a few vans that we like. Um, so we'll obviously need to view them, test drive them, see if we want them. After about two weeks of debate, it's been really hard to figure out where we're going to actually do it, where we're going to actually work on the van. Because obviously we live in this, and you're not allowed to do it obviously on club sites, on farms and stuff like that. Um, so we're thinking about renting a house so it's got to drive and leaving this in storage. But um, we're going to end up, that's out the window again because there's a lot involved, like no pets. So we've got Chico or like price marks and stuff and um, just the vetting process and stuff. It's just, can't be bothered. It's just all time adding on. And we just want to get a van done and get straight back on the road out here. Um, but yeah, so we've decided that we're going to just live on a farm, pretty much. It's like a CL. I don't think you'll ever live on them, but you, if you come off for a couple of days or something like that, you can go back on. So the motorhome is going to be our home still. Just pretend it's like a static caravan, so to speak. And then we're going to be travelling through to my dad's mother-in-law's. And she's got a garage. So then we're going to be park at the new van outside of there so we'll drive there every morning all of our tools will be inside the garage and then we'll be working on the van and then at the end of the day it's another half an hour 45 minute journey back and then we'll come here and go to sleep and live here but yeah it's close to b and q and everything as well so it's going to be a lot better but yeah i know this is not that good but we're doing it for a really good reason after that um actually thinking about looking into how to take it to America because obviously when they get used to it first I think they'll do a little bit of Europe but then really thinking about taking it to America I don't think I feel like I could take this motorhome to America it's just big chunky it's like an eyesore when you're leaving it um, but yeah lots of exciting videos to come see you later Take those daft off, ever. And if you're wondering where we are right now, we're at Camp and St. Louis. Lewis. Um, so close to the tunnel, just 25 minutes away, and it's a really nice campsite. Um, we're heading to the tunnel in the morning, and then we're back in the UK. We'll be making our way to see family, friends, and then straight into trying to convert a van. <laughs> see you later. This is where we are going to leave today's video, so thank you all for watching. Please hit the like button to support our channel and if you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe and the notification bell.